We're Simon and Simone. We come to play with you. We're the best of friends, and you're our best friend too. We'll talk about the weather or anything that's clever. We'll have a story, song time, sing song time. We're Simon and Simone. We come to play with you. We're the best of friends, and you're our best friend too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. I'm Simon. And I'm Simone. <laughs> it's Welcome a good day. To Welcome to Wednesday. Wednesday. We're doing a Wednesday show yeah, this week. We Yeah, we did something different this week. A little bit different. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, nice. Hey, Simone, um, what's, what's, the, what's the best thing you know today? What's the best thing I know today? Mm -hmm. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Yes. I've heard that it is a virtue. I don't know what the virtue means, but I know what patience <laughs> is a good thing. What is what is going on with you today, Simon? <clears throat> well, I'm doing all kinds of things. Um, I first want to say hello to people out there because it's Tuesday birthday. Well, it's Wednesday birthday. Sorry. But it's birthday anytime this Every week. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say happy birthday to some friends. Do you have a shout out? I want to shout out, I don't think it's a birthday, but I'm going to shout out to Cassius. Hi, Cassius. And I'm going to shout out to Willow. Hi, Willow. <laughs> Hi, friends. Well, if it is your birthday, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know that we've had a few friends' birthdays this week, so this goes out to all of you. Action. Have a birthday. birthday and we did just hear from willow and cash we did what they say they said hi they did uh -huh. i love it where how well through the magic of comments oh neat hi willow hi Cassius. and hello to all of our friends hello to all of our friends you're all tuned in gracie and Great. all Nolan of our regular and, Naomi, yes. and, and hopefully new peoples too yeah. hey simone you know what i've been working on what have you been working on i have been working on magic i have a new thing i'm trying since I'm home a lot, I have a new thing, and it's called magic. Wow. Yes. I didn't know that you were into magic. I That's am. Would cool. you like to see my new magic I trick? I would love to see your new magic trick. Oh, look, another commit. <gasps> Hi, Naomi. Hi, Naomi. Welcome to Wednesday show. <laughs> well, are you going to show us your magic trick? Yes, but first, I require the assistance of an assistant. Can I be your assistant? Please. Okay. Please and thank you. What okay. would you like? Well, first off, I would require that my assistant brings over my beautiful red sesh. Okay. I've got a beautiful red sesh. A beautiful red sesh, such as that. If my assistant would show it kindly to our audience. Oh, our audience, look, we've got somebody new. Gianna. Hi, Gianna. Gianna. Hi, Gianna. Welcome to our show. I'm doing a magic trick. <laughs> now, if you would notice, show it to the audience. Okay. There is nothing there except a red sesh. Correct. Correct. Now, I would like you to hold it below me, beneath me, and then you're going to raise it. And then when you raise it above my head, after I say the magic words, something wonderful and miraculous will happen. Well, I'm excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. One, okay. lift, two, and I say, hippopotamus, pancatatamus, flippertatamus, matata. Am I invisible? I'm invisible. 
Am I invisible? No. I'm not invisible. You're not invisible. Not invisible. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Because I believe it requires magic. Okay. 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 Ready? Okay. Ahem. Potato! Potato! Fritada! Kumbayada! I'm invisible, right? I'm totally invisible. Am I invisible? I'm not invisible. I'm invisible. You can't see me, right? You can't see me. We can see him, right? Oh. Hmm. 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 That's not good. That's, That's not, not good. good. This must be a broken magic trick. Oh. This is a stupid magic oh. trick. I can't believe I even wasted my time with such a magic trick. I mean, I can't do this. I can't do this. I cannot do this. Wait a do minute. This. Wait a I minute, don't Simon. I wish to. I cannot. Simon. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What? what? I see that you're very frustrated. I am frustrated. You're it's learning a dumb about trick. Some, you're learning about something really new. So? Well, it takes a long time to learn something new. So what's your point? Well, how many times have you tried your magic trick? Two. Well, sometimes it takes like a bazillion times to get a magic trick right. Really? Or anything that we're learning new, right? Right, friends? That's a lot of time, Simone. I know. That's a lot. And then even when we think that we've un that we've uh, figured it out, right? We still have to keep learning more. <sighs> but you know what? Wait. I don't know, Simone. It seems hard. Uh, it seems hard. When you're learning. Something new We're put to the test Okay To see how patient we can be To be our very best Although we struggle through We have to stop and pause Focus in on you I tell you this because When you say you can't and you're giving up, just use this little tool and do a quick checkup. Quick way. It only takes a sec to see if you just need a break. Jump right up and start to shake. Shake? Start to shake your head. Then you shake your arms. And now you're dancing to a beat that does no harm. Hey. Then you take three breaths. And gently close your eyes. Good. Then you see your dreams just fly. Never say you can't. Just try. Okay, I think I'm willing to try. You are? I think so. Well, trying is one major step towards learning something new. Okay. When you say you can't and you're giving up, just use this little tool and do a quick checkup. It only takes a sec to see if you just need a break. Jump right up and start do it with us. to shake. Start to shake your head. I'm doing it. Then you shake your arms. Look at this. And now you're dancing to a beat that does no harm. Then you take three breaths. Gently close your eyes. Then you see your dreams just fly, fly to the sky. Never say you can't, just try. Never say you can't, just try. See? It's that easy. <laughs> it's that easy. I love it. Thank you, you can Simone. use that for so many different things. Anytime you're frustrated, shake it off. Shake it off. Breathe. Close your eyes Breathe. and focus back in. That sounds amazing, Simone. Thank you so very, you very much. You are so Simone. Guess who's here? Kinder Dragon. Kinder Dragon. Oh. Hi, Kinder Dragon. You must have a special envelope for us. Oh. Thank you, Kinder Dragon. I hope you're doing well. I, hey, Kinder Dragon. Okay, bye. <laughs> Special 
guest. Who's our special guest today, Simone? I don't know. Simone? Let's see. Let's see. Open the envelope. Okay. Okay. Our special guest loves writing. Ooh. Drawing. I like drawing. And giggling. <laughs> <laughs> I like to giggle too. <laughs> Who likes to giggle? <laughs> you like to giggle oh, too. Oh, <laughs> I do. I do. I like to giggle. Wonderful. Well, let's meet our new friend. Hey, Simone. We're traveling all the way to New York City to visit children's author and illustrator. Laurie Smollett cut Sarah. Look at all these cool pictures she did. That's a neat one of making baskets. And this looks like it's from her new book, The Misadventures, A Magician's Son. Oh, cool. <gasps> and there she is! There she Hi. is, she's on screen. Hi, Simon. Hi, Simone. Hi, Hi Laurie. Hi. Look, that was Hi, your everybody. book cover. That was your book cover yeah. right in front of my face. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you. Welcome. Oh, it's nice to see you too. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. We love having you. It's my pleasure. And you're all the way in New York, yeah? That's right. I'm right here in New York, wow. just outside of the city. <gasps> yeah, it's such wow. a big place. That's so far away from us. That's all the way on the other side of the country. On the other side. It's not near away. It's far away. It's far away. Hey, <laughs> Lori, I love your drawings, especially the one of the magic kid. Yeah. Will you tell oh. us about your book, The Misadventures of a Magician's Son? I'd be happy to. It's a story of Alexander Finn. He's a 12-year-old, and he's going through a very difficult time. His father has passed away, and he was a celebrated magician, and Alex had learned quite a bit from him at his young age. But Alex's mom had to move them far away from his friends and his family and all his school and all the things that he, he knew and loved. And um, he's having a very difficult time acclimating in his new home and he doesn't really want to have anything to do with anybody and he doesn't really reach out to make friends and he doesn't even want to unpack his belongings. That sounds but hard. One, that yeah. sounds rough. It, Poor. It's a rough time, sure. Um, but his father's desk arrives and inside he finds a very special gift that his father's left him, a very special magic deck of cards that come to life. That sounds incredible. What a good and, story. And so these cards, mainly the Hart family, the, the King of Hearts and Queen Olivia, the Queen of Hearts and Jack and a very outspoken joker, try to guide Alex through this very difficult time. But unfortunately, they kind of make things a little more complicated for him And at first. And he ends up going on this misadventure, or several. And um, that's sort of the, the idea behind Misadventures of a Magician. Wow. That's we a, love going on misadventures, don't we, Simon? We do. We do. As <laughs> many as we can. How about you, Lori? Do you like going on misadventures? Oh, I, I'm, I'm an expert at them, yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Like, what's one of your greatest misadventures? Did you ever go on, like, say, I don't know, like a, um, uh, did you ever ride a hippopotamus unicorn? Um, you know, that's on my bucket list. <laughs> I see. I, I haven't, but I've been on a lot of different kinds of boats. <gasps> And I traveled all over the eastern seaboard on a boat, and I saw dolphins and alligators and birds of all kinds, and it was really and and just spectacular, really. That's remarkable. Wow. That's remarkable, Simone. I know. You're an adventurer. Really? Right? Yeah, you yeah. are an adventurer. And you must be, so you're an adventurer, you miss adventures. Are you a magician? You wrote about a magician. Are you a magician? Yeah. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I really loved magic. Um, I got more into ventriloquism. But I worked with um, a, little, a friend of mine at the time was really into magic. But in, 
in trying to write this book, I didn't know enough about the subject, so I did a lot of reading, and I worked with a magician who was very helpful in guiding me through all the different fans and manipulations and all the different terminology and all the different kinds of tricks that are out there. Oh, neat tricks, cool tricks. You know, I'm learning a magic trick, Laurie. I mean, you magic are? Trick. Yeah. <gasps> Can you show me? I can't right now. I threw it down on the floor because I was angry. He got a little frustrated. And Sorry. Oh. So we were trying to work through it a little bit, Lori, but I don't know if you have any advice. Yeah. Well, you know, magic, like anything, requires practice. Oh. And if you, if you like to swim or you like to play in a musical instrument... Um, all of those things require practice. And the more you practice, the better you get. And with magic, it's really helpful to break it down into different sections, kind of like swimming. When you learn to swim, you don't just jump in the water and start swimming. That doesn't really work, does it? No. no. So when you learn to swim, you first learn how to breathe, and then you learn how to kick your feet and your legs to keep your legs straight. Okay. And then you learn how to use your arms, and then you put it all together. And that's kind of the same thing with magic. You, you break it down into pieces, and then you put it all together. But they're really, failure is a wonderful thing when it comes to practice, because failure gets you closer to where you want to be. Every time you fail, it's a stepping stone to doing it the right way. And keep that in mind so when you do feel you're failing at something, it's moving you forward. Does I that help? That. Those are very, very That's wise very words. Wise. That helps me. I've been doing a lot of that, so I'm really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you're going to be an expert really soon. We always, always have to practice, right? We always practice. Thank you, Lori. Hey, Lori, I, what else have yes? you written? Yeah, what else what have else you What else are you working on? Oh, uh, well, I, I wrote a picture book about, I'm working on a number of different picture books right now, and one of them is about um, boogers. <laughs> boogers. Yeah. Boogers. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like boogers. And one of them is about zombies. <gasps> I like zombies too. I like zombies too. And one of them is about a young girl that finds beauty in, in things that most people don't find beauty in. But she finds beauty and purpose in, in those items that nobody else can see. And, and that's a special one that's near and dear to my heart. Yeah. That sounds so those are three that I'm working on right now. Wow, that is amazing. That is. Yeah. So we can find all of Lori Katsara's work at lskillustration.com. It's right here on the screen. And Blue Whale Press is who did Magici uh, Magician's Son, The Misadventures Great. of a Magician's Son. I have a lot of reading to do. I know. <laughs> so read Laurie's amazing book and find yeah. all of her other work. And we were so happy to have you today. Very grateful. Thank you, Lori. You're wonderful. It was a pleasure. It's so lovely to hang out with you guys for the day, and you keep practicing. I will. I will. Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much, Lori. Bye bye. Be bye safe in New bye, York. bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Bye. That was wow, really great, wasn't that was it, Simone? Great. Yeah, I liked her. I love the I, all of her messages about failing and trying again. And when we're trying to learn something, we can't just give up if we can't get through it the first time. No, I think I'm ready to try many, many times, just like Alexander Finn in the book. Yeah. I'm try again. You're ready I'm to try, try again? I don't know. Okay. You convinced me. Remember, we never say can't. We okay. always say we're going to I'm going to use all my trying face. Look at this. Whoa! That's uh, the best trying face That's ever. my trying face. Oh, that's okay. a good trying Are you ready for my four magic words? I am ready for your four magic okay. words. Okay, here we go. Potato. Rhinoceros. 
San Giacomo, <laughs> oregano. Um, Hello, dear sir. Hi, your lobe. Hey, what am I doing here? Um, well, you're you're on the show. You're live. I'm shy. You're shy. Uh oh. We'll say hello to everyone. Hey there, Ben. Oh, silly Simon. Should we try that? to bring Simon back? No? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. Earlobe's scared. Let's say goodbye to Earlobe. <gasps> Let's see if we can bring Simon back. Come on, everybody. Try as hard as you can. Try, try, try. Try, try, try. Always try, 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 try. And goodbye. It worked, everyone. It worked. It worked. It worked? That was amazing. Wow, what happened? Well, you're invisible. I'm invisible? <laughs> you were. What? What do you mean? You weren't here. <laughs> I'm invisible. I was here, but I was invisible. Did you guys see me? I was here, but I was invisible. <laughs> you disappeared. <laughs> it worked. I did. It worked. It worked. I'm so happy it worked. Yay! Yay! I'm so happy it worked. Great, yeah. great, great, good, good. <laughs> great. Thank you, Simone. Thank you for helping me You're to so find welcome. my magician's voice. Good. Yes. I'm glad that I could help. Yes, thank you. And thank you, Laurie. And thank you. I think my other assistant is somewhere here. Earlobe. Oh, <laughs> yes. Earlobe was here. <laughs> he helped out with the trick. He did. He did. Okay. Well, friends. It was always, it's always our pleasure to see you and uh, always keep trying. Never say you can't. Learn always something remember, new today. Yeah. Try something new Try today. something new. Remember to dream. Imagine. Explore. And create. And with that, we, we love leave to you say with so this. long. Will we say so long? Not for too long. I dream for you the comfort of a place where you belong. I dream you show forgiveness when others do you wrong. The courage to be strong, but most I dream that you love someone who will love you as much as I do. I dream that all your dreams come true. And all these dreams I dream, I dream for you. Dream greet each morning with wonder in your eyes. Be faithful to your journey, don't fear the stormy skies. The road will make you wise, but most I dream that you love someone who will love you as much as I do. I dream that all your dreams come true, and all these dreams I dream, I dream for you. And when your faith is losing ground, and courage can't be found, I'll dream your sorrows away forever. Your heart to dream you hope, to dream you bliss, but most of all to dream you this. I dream that you love someone who will love you as much as I do. I dream that all your dreams come true, and all these dreams I dream. dreaming out there friends so long but not for too long bye 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 now bye 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 bye